What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I want to show you guys a few pulls on the 435 and also show you guys the reason why I ended up picking up this 435. I want to show you guys a few pulls on this car. Maybe a couple burnouts. And tell you guys the reasons I ended up picking up a 435. Why did I do it? Why I recommended some of you guys should do it. I figured I'd make something like this while we wait for John to free up some of his time to actually help us install the suspension. The suspension, I've never done it before so I kind of want his help on it. But yeah, let's go, let's go. Let's just go ahead and do a quick little cinematic without the suspension and do a couple of little burnouts, drive-bys and talk about the reasons why I, why I love the car so much. Why I don't plan on selling. Before we do a cinematic, I actually want to clean this baby up. It's been, it's a little dirty, you know, it's a little dirty. Guys, check her out. This looks so good. I cannot wait for the suspension to just drop her just a little bit or maybe all the way down. Who knows? I already have it, so I already know. So you guys will be finding out pretty soon. Jeez. Oh, buddy. Let's just wa let's wash her. Let's wash her. Damn, boys, get this thing clean. Damn, this looks crazy. It's just dripping. Guys, I cannot get over these new wheels. Oh my God. All right, well, let's go ahead and just uh, wash it down now and then dry it up. All right, guys, now she's looking all pretty. Let's go ahead and dry her up. Actually, I got to spray down a few more spots. You can see a little bit of soap there. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and dry her up and we can finally shoot that cinematic. I wish drying a car was just as fun as washing it. And just like that guy, she's looking 20 times better. Let's go ahead and run a cinematic. Three, two. Oh, wait, hold up. No, no, three, two. One. Baby, you make me lose my mind. Maybe you wanna stay the night. Time goes fast. I don't care. I've known you long enough. When we go, we lose track of time. You and I, we can stay inside. Time goes fast. I don't care. I've known you long enough. I know what I want. Know that I care. Nothing can change that. Talk to me, babe. Fight for me, babe. I need you to hear me. So sweet, but you're dynamite. I just wanna dance with you. Feeling that burn, I'm not getting out. Yeah, yeah. Baby, you make me lose my mind. Maybe you wanna stay tonight. Time goes fast. So I know I just washed the car, but I want to show you guys some quick drive by, some quick little burnouts, just little things here and there. So let me sit you guys down and do a couple of those things for you guys. That's some long 11s, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. <laughs> Damn, that was insane. Guys, I cannot wait till I have a lot more power pushed in this car. We're getting a few more bolt toss from Keys, hopefully pretty soon. We're just waiting on the suspension to get done first. And I know you guys are waiting. I know you guys have been waiting. Like, first wheels, I know. And then suspension. But then bolt on. And then cars. A lot of cool things coming up, guys. Do you guys want to see a quick little drive-by? Yeah, maybe so. Yes, smash that like button. Nope. All right, let's do it anyways. Let's go. That was pretty good. Here. <laughs> Ooh, that transition though. Huh? That transition. Oh, what's up guys? Look at the car sitting there looking all pretty. Oh my god, I cannot wait for the suspension. We got the 128 over there just chilling like a villain. But anyways, I'm super hungry. Let's look at something to eat. Subway maybe? It's traditional. Let's do it. Looking good. The only thing I only light I have right now is a TPMS, but you guys already know it's because of the new tires and the new wheels. I honestly can't wait for that air to get off my dash. I hate that air. Alright, so we get some food. I'm really hungry. Guys, this thing is so fast stock. Oh my lord, I love this car. Anyways, food, I want food. You know what I realized? Today's cheat day. I gotta get myself some in and out or something. Ooh, in and out you already know. Honestly, my favorite food place. I, it, it honestly may be. Only thing that's not my favorite is these damn lines. They're always so long. What's going on? I'm good. Uh, can I get a double-double animal style and a cheeseburger animal style and a fry? Uh, just a cup of water uh, to go. To go double double cheeseburger, both animal style, one fry, one water. Yeah, and just the sauce on the side. 
Yep, you guys guessed it. In and out, boy. Appreciate it. You too. Cheat meal comes once a week. So I, that's why you guys see why you're getting two burgers and fries instead of a burger and fries like a normal person. Yo, man, starving. He's been craving. Where? Yeah. Would you like ketchup? Oh, uh, no, thank you. Awesome. And uh, animal sauce is in there? Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, guys, we are running this car empty. Let's go ahead and just get some gas real quick. We are pulling up. So Costco, honestly, is one of my favorite places to get gas, if you guys don't know, mainly because it's still premium. And when I did research about Arco, it's pretty much the same exact thing as Shell. So, uh, end of the day, I know there's a little bit of a difference. So I'm not trying to spend 60 every two to three days. Please stop. Stop going up. Please, my wallet. Oh my lord. So the damage is 49 flat. Well, uh, let's get out of here. Guys, the guys that work here were looking at me super weird. I was like recording the fuel tank and he was just looking at me like I did something wrong. I was like, bro, like, what are you doing? We got gas, we got food. Let me demolish that bag real quick. And then I can tell you guys why. I truly think this car is worth every penny and why I think it's the best purchase when it comes to the BMW lineup of cars. Damn, all right. Let's go ahead and eat and watch some of Nord's videos. Tell me that this is the best combination. Food with Nord's videos. I love you guys so much. By the way, shout out to you guys, 79K. We are almost at 80K. I love you guys. I'm finally here with the car, here alone. I finally got something to eat. I was starving. That was my first meal of the day. Anyways, you guys are probably wondering why I'm saying this is the best bang for the buck when it comes to buying a BMW. I don't know if you guys know how much I got this car for. I got it for $11,500. That is insane for a clean title, 435i. Cars only go for about $20,000. Now, I didn't get some ass absolute insane of a deal. The reason why I got my car stupid cheap was mainly because of the mileage. You guys know that this car has 150,000 miles. It's so far, I'll explain to you guys all the stuff that's currently been wrong with it, but it's honestly not that bad. So I saved about $8,500 picking up one with super high mileage compared to the average cost of this car. Actually, I haven't seen, actually it's not even the average. The cheapest one I've seen is about $20,000. The average is about $25,000. I got this for $11,500. I know this, there's a few other out there that are going for about sixteen dollars to $17,000 the similar kind of mileage. I got mine for a really good deal. The reason why I say this is a really good bank for the buck is mainly because it's still a new car. All the things, all the new components, all the hoses, it's still new parts. Even with high mileage, you're still getting, you're still getting a car that's pretty much brand new. This is a 2014 435i. Yes, just look at that. That looks absolutely insane. When I drive this, no one knows the miles. When I drive this, no one knows the title, even though it's a clean title. If you get a salvage, it doesn't matter. This car is so smooth, so quick, really good on gas, to be honest. Way better than my E90, and this is turbo. This is honestly my favorite car I've ever owned. You guys know I've owned the E92 M3. E92 M3 was an absolute insane beast of a car. But to be honest with you, this does feel quicker. And to be quite frank with you, it honestly could possibly be quicker with just one tune and a couple bolt-ons. And not to mention, this is a lot more reliable and a lot cheaper on gas. I think the average cost of an E92 M3 today is the same price as this 435 with about similar mileage as well. I'd say if money is not tight, money is not a concern for you, I would get an E92 M3. Mainly because the car is absolutely Absolutely. It's a fun, it's a joy car to drive. But when it comes to a lot of other things like practicality and ownership, I had to go with brake pads and rotors that are about $2,000. I had to do the rod band about another $2,600. There was a throttle bottle actuators that could have possibly went out on me, which is, would have been another $1,500. The parts and repairs on an E92 up there is just horrific. It's terrible. And to push power on something like that, you would need to spend upwards of $10,000 to get a supercharger. Unlike this one, there's stages of turbo kits that you can get. And of course, you can just go with bolt-ons and a tune and already be faster than an average M3 or even M4. M4s, obviously, you could tune them and you get a lot more power than this. The block is a lot better as well. But what I'm talking about right now for the value, get out of it, it is absolutely the best bang for the buck. If you guys look at this interior, this is just so beautiful. It's like as if you're sitting on a brand new 2020 car. This is still a beautiful interior. This is 2014. It's still, it's about six years old now, but it still looks amazing. The amount of options you can get for these cars are also amazing. This one just happens to be fully loaded, but you can still make your F32 look exactly like this one, which is the, the, the best part. A lot of you guys have been DMing me on Instagram saying whether it was a good decision for me to sell the M3 to get this car. I honestly think for me personally as a college student, it was probably one of the best decisions I could have made. The M3 was a joy to drive. It was even a manual. I love the car so much, but I couldn't honestly afford to keep it. One thing that breaks down, cost to repair would have been the same to buy another E90 and bring it to the channel or another BMW and bring it to the channel. For me personally, the cost of owning it wasn't worth it for me. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I realize it cut. I guess what I'm trying to say throughout this entire video is if you have money, money, then get the E92 M3. Right now, I'm talking about cars underneath the $25,000 range. And when comparing the two cars that are up there, which is the E92 M3, 
3 and the 435i. I feel like the 435 is just as good and it's a lot more affordable to maintain and it's a newer car. So me personally, I do think the 435 is the best bang for the buck, but you guys let me know down below what you guys think. I've owned both these cars. I've experienced both best of both worlds, automatic, manual, and this is just my personal opinion. You guys let me know down below, but without further ado guys, I love y'all so much. Cop a decal if you guys want to support the channel and without further ado, catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Remember to stay humble. Remember to stay humble. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse. Man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have worth.